Yes, greetings, beloved. How are you? Hello. Yes, greetings, beloved. How are you? Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can. How okay. are you? I'm doing well, thank you. And yourself? I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Yeah, I hear you better now. Okay, beloved, so I'm calling you for your session. Um, have you ever received a psychic medium reading, or should I explain to you how I um, conduct sessions, or are you already familiar? Well, um, I've had one or two different encounters, but I'm quite sure no one are, none of these are the same. So mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, I would just prefer you just explain to me what you do. Okay, that's great. Um, I'll be more than willing to do so, right? Um, so as a medium, what I'm going to begin to do is I'm going to begin to channel. Um, and channeling is basically communicating with your spirit guides. If you're, And your spirit guides are going to begin to tell me or provide me with messages about you that happened to you from the past, present, and future. Most of the things that your spirit guides will also begin to tell me are things that might be affecting your spirit or my, things that, you know, you need to let go of. Anything that deals with your aura or deals with your emotions, deals with your feelings, deals with your spirituality. This is more so what your spirit guides, well, my client spirit guides, you know, tell me. Um, another thing is, if, another thing is, if, your any of your ancestors chooses to come through me, I'll be more than willing to provide you with those messages as well. Um, are you hearing me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. No, because I just hear a lot. I hear some background noise. I just want to make sure that you're hearing me good. Well, no, I I turned my TV off and everything, and I closed my door. And I agree. I uh, so that I can hear you very clearly. I put my earpiece on. So. Okay. That makes it probably where you can pick up all. It just when I put these on, you can hear, you can hear all the echoes and everything behind you. So mm -hmm. that's probably what it is. So oh. I wanted to make sure that I would be able to hear you just totally clearly. Okay. So, yes, mm -hmm. and I heard everything you said, and everything okay. you said is exactly what I was I'm looking for. Okay, great. Um, and then too, uh, well, another thing is. Um, if you would like to connect with um, a loved one on the other side as well, um, and if they choose to come through me, I'll be more than willing to connect the two of you. Um, many times, you know, people, uh, great-grandparents or, you know, grandmothers or grandfathers come through just to provide, you know, further uh, messages for the client. So that I'll be able to do that as well. But the first thing that's, are you clear? Uh, any questions or Oh, yes, because I've been trying to prepare myself literally all day because I, I, I thought, okay, I, what is she asking something? But what I think I need to do more so than anything right now is to listen. Of course, I am bombarded with questions, but right now I need to listen mm -hmm. because I know I have missed opportunities um, to totally, you know, take me and advance me to where I need to be spiritually mm -hmm. and I walked away and it's probably because just too tuned into too many other different frequencies and mm -hmm. other things that had my attention and like pulling me this way and pulling mm -hmm. me that way mm -hmm. when now there's nothing more important to me but to be focused at this point in my life mm -hmm. right now where I am and I need just, I just need to listen and um, mm -hmm. really just, just to listen so that I will know mm -hmm. because I know my journey so far has has been led. I know that's undisputable mm -hmm. and I just know that I, like I said, I've missed a lot of opportunities, you know, because of, uh, like I said, just not, not being, I wouldn't even say ready 
Mm -hmm. just not being aware and not paying attention Mm -hmm. and not being willing to just listen instead of always just running my mouth and this Mm -hmm. and another. No, Mm -hmm. I need to listen. So, Mm -hmm. ground Mm -hmm. that. Great, and 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 that's a beautiful testimony that shows that you're growing spiritually, right? But another thing that, well, rather, what I would like to add on to what you have said is, you know, when you say, "Oh, I miss, I miss certain opportunities. I miss this. I miss that." Yeah, you can feel like that, but then those type of feelings creates regret, right? Those type of feelings also creates guiltiness, right? And if you are a person that is ascending, which your spirit guides are saying, if you're a person that is ascending, you have to let those feelings go, right? You have to let those certain type of vibrations go. You have to rather learn from it more so and understand that everything is happening in divine order. Although you may feel like, damn, you know, that was an opportunity that I missed. If you, if it was for you, you would have got it. You understand it didn't it didn't happen in that way. Perhaps now, if the you know the opportunity presents itself again, you will be more than willing to to master or rather to be able or willing to achieve your opportunity or opportunities now than you had before. So I don't feel like you should. And I'm and the reason why I'm speaking to you is because as you speak to me, um, your vibration you have vibration of guilt, right? Um, and that's I do, interesting. I do. And it's heavy. Yes, and it's, it's really okay. It's heavy because I had a spiritual sister, and it, she's all spirit now, and her name was Amanika, and mm. she really was bringing me through the ramp, and I walked away from her. Mm. And then I ended up staying into the part of my life which I was raised accustomed to all this Christianity and everything, and I always knew that that was mm-hmm. something. It was not, that was not for me. And then mm-hmm. when I got to really know her, and then, like I said, I had my encounters with her. We did different things like readings and stuff like mm-hmm. that or whatever. And I loved her because it was so refreshing to be able to have somebody that understood what I was looking for mm-hmm. and what I, I, what I knew what was right and I knew which was undisputed because I have always ask the God, listen, I don't want to know what man documented on paper. I need to know you and know the truth for mm-hmm. myself. Mm-hmm. And when she came in my life, it was like a whirlwind. I was in the midst of getting ready to marry a pastor of a church mm-hmm. and then here she is, and I was being pulled from both sides mm-hmm. and because of the familiar, you know, familiar word that I knew. I pushed her away and I married a pastor. Mm-hmm. And that after that she ended up you know she died and she's all spirit now and I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to her hmm. and is she just, is she like a she's like brown dark skin she, she's a light medium brown yeah yeah medium brown her name was Amanika she's like um, slim a little bit hmm is she slim? Like, she's not, like, thick, solid? Um, well, you know what? At the time, when she she had begun, she, had, she had gotten ill, so mm. I'm quite sure, because she was diagnosed with cancer, so she may have lost a lot of weight or whatever before the last time that I got a chance to see her. She has I, a, had, I didn't see her. She has a child? Does she have a child? Yes. She has, uh, I think, three children. One of her children passed when okay. we were younger. He, um, I was actually friends with her children. Okay. And I, we, when we were growing up, me and her kids, and her youngest son, um, he passed when we were at, at a local park swimming pool, and he drowned. This, the reason why I asked you she has a child, and the reason why I'm asking you about her is because she, as you said her name, she's she's in front of my face, and she's holding, she's speaking to me about her children. She's speaking, so that's why I was like, oh, she was saying my child, my child, and I see, I don't she see the baby. Spoke about him. Yeah, I don't see the baby, or I don't see the child, 
but um, I see her holding on to, I, I don't see the face, so you, now you're confirming that it is a boy, okay, fine, but yeah. I feel more so yeah. like she is um, happy, she is rejoicing, um, I feel more so like I, that took, although she had other children, uh, that took a lot out of her. I don't. I think that she might have been suicidal at times it too. Did. Okay, there you go. It cause did. It did. It did. It did. It did. It did because when um, we would do, you know, certain different readings, and mm -hmm. once I would come through, she would ask me, "Whom or what did I see?" And I think it was because the loss, the loss of her, her, her youngest son, mm -hmm. it kind of took her away from the other two children, um, yeah. Damar and G, yeah. Gigi, and she was so, she was consumed with him, with her. Yeah, she was. Yeah. And you are exactly right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because she often asked me, you know, did I see him or did I, was I able to, you know, talk to him or reach him or anything like that. But, yeah. But I'm glad to know that she is at peace. Yeah, she, and she wanted that. her to know that mm -hmm. I was, I was, I'm so, I was really hurt that I did walk away from her the way that I did. You know, it hurt me more than I believe it hurt anybody, especially once I realized the loss. And it was not just a loss. It was never our friendship because I did see her, you know, periodically here and there after that. But I'm saying the regret and the the, the timing because I do know that timing is everything. And you are right when you said then may not have been the time. But mm. I feel like essentially I have wasted a lot of time in my life just being bombarded with different things. And I know I can do better. I have to do better because this is a little bit bigger than me. Mm -hmm. And I know this. But in order for me to continue to grow, and I, I totally accept that. I take all the experiences and I try to devour them and make sure that what that I learned from this because I don't want to have to keep on and have it in this same thing over and over if I don't learn. So mm -hmm. that is true. And but this, I, I know I'm... Go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm listening. No, what I was what I was saying is with you, beloved, um, you're speaking spirit talk with not even knowing that you're speaking spirit talk, right? The main fact that you're saying that I don't want to go through these lessons again, that is that is what happens when you have failed a particular lesson and now you gotta repeat it again. So you are now conscious and you are now aware that okay I've gone through this and I don't want to repeat it again because I want to elevate myself, right? That is a level of growth again and that is a level of awareness. However, you also do know that think, there's no such thing as time. There's only seasons and cycles and experiences. So you did not waste okay. any time. You just had to keep okay. repeating the same cycle over and over again until you have came to this realization that you're in now. It's interesting because as I was waiting on your response, my love, we was all sitting in a, uh, and it was four, it's four people, and it could be even the, you know, your 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 lover here that, uh, made the transition. It was me. It was you. It was another person here, and then it was just a glowing body. Um, and we were all sitting in like this circle, this cipher. And yes, my love, I'm going to tell you, we're sitting in this cipher, and there's this white light that is getting passed throughout us all. And that white light is what is known as the light of purity and the light of consciousness. So I'm more so feeling like I was passing on the consciousness to you guys and your lover here was also passing down the light of higher knowledge, spirituality, healing, um, and letting go. Remember when I said to you about letting go? And then, too, I said, okay, well, what can she do? You know, I asked your spirit guys, I said, okay, well, what can she do in order for her to let go? So they said she needs to begin to work with the orange color vibration. So I said, okay, well, 
What does that, like, what What exactly is that going to help her with? And what they were saying is, you know, brain clearing, um, you know, mind building, adaption, you know, adapting to your situation or your lifestyle right now, adapting to the main fact that, okay, yeah, I've learned my lessons before. Now I am living this new, this new and profound life of mine because you are very skillful. Okay, yes, you may be going through this period of depression or sadness. That's fine. You may be going through that, but you have to go through this period in order for you to see the full light. You already dibbled and dabbled into helping people or, you know, as you said, doing readings or whatever it is that you was doing spiritually. You have dibbled and dabbled in it, but you haven't reached your fullest potential. For this reason, you had to fall. You got to kill yourself in order for you to resurrect. Or reincarnate so in any event you know and also being courageous um is what your spirit guides are saying uh, you know a love affairs you know being active um financial matters as well also deals with the orange vibration orange vibration also deals with the sacral chakra are you familiar with this you familiar with the different chakras correct somewhat not as more as I should, but I am, yes. Okay. So let me help, let me, you know, uh, you know, guide you on this. Um, the sacral chakra Thank deals you. with, mm-hmm, the sacral chakra deals with sexual organs, your sexual reproductive system. The sacral chakra also deals with intimacy, deals with relationships, deals with creativity, deals with clearing of the mind, deals with being courageous, deals with also being active and rather letting go. The sacral chakra also deals with, you know, like when people say like the yoni theme, strengthening the reproductive system, you understand, because everything is created in the womb, right? All of these different feelings that you're going through, um, you know, rather it is emotionally or physically or rather it relates to, um, you know, your internal vibration or your relationship, it always gets stuck in the reproductive system or rather it always gets stuck in the womb, right? So you want to release these feelings of sadness or regret or guilt from r working with this orange color vibration type of thing, right? So you could do one of two things. Okay. You could do one of two things. You can light up an orange candle. You can take like a, I'm going to say like an orange bath, um, you know, with orange peels or whatnot. You can just sit into okay. solitude yeah. and... Um, you That's know. amazing. You're telling me this. I'm sorry, cause I eat. I have eaten so many oranges. I've been there you go. <laughs> at night. I'm eating oranges and oranges and oranges. Yeah. <laughs> oranges. I'm eating them. I'm devouring them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, again, again, uh, these are messages from your spirit guides. So they know you. I don't know you personally. I'm just, I'm just the Messiah. I'm just the messenger, my love. <laughs> you understand? I'm just providing you with these messages. Yeah. So this is confirmation for you that the reason why you have been eating these oranges or, you know, indulging in oranges is on a spiritual level, you are balancing out your sacral chakra. You're balancing out the reproductive system so that you can let go of the the grief, you know, the guilt, um, you know, the unwanted feelings in any event. So I'm just giving you just some feedback and recommendations in terms of what you can do to move forward and live this profound okay. life that you have came back onto this planet to be um, or to do, you know, because okay. we all have our, we all have responsibilities here, right? Correct? I, I believe so, right? Yes. I have a responsibility. Yes. You do. Yes. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'm trying to get because I need, that's where I'm going. Mm -hmm. And I need to just, you know, walk this way so and learn so that I can get there because I can't help anybody until I help mm -hmm. myself and get to where I need to be. I mean, unconsciously, like you said, you know, you might do something and it just might be something that needed to be done for somebody. But I don't know, in my, in my, in my mind and in my heart and in, in, in my vision, it's just something so, I don't know, it seems like it's just something so much more that I know that I have to give or to offer or to do. And I'm, and it's like, okay, you need to get busy or you need to get with it or you need to get focused or, you know, you need, like you said, I need to 
filter out and clear out some things mm-hmm. so I can go with mm-hmm. the slow. Brain clearing. Yeah, brain clearing. Um, your I'm Anika here. Um, she's saying that she came into your life for a season. Um, so you know how sometimes people, you know how sometimes you meet somebody for one day and you felt like you known them for the you know, for yep. the, the whole life, your whole life or whatever, and then they just boom, vanish. Yep. So you so I'm feeling more yep. so with you that you may be holding on to the the um experience more it's so guilt. than I was it, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. It was, I felt it was a lot when you when you spoke on it. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of the guilt too. So, oh yeah. But I, I I'm better with it now that you explained it because I don't really you know my friend we talk but it's I don't really have a lot of people yeah. hopefully to just really talk and it's heavy mm-hmm. and when you when you have to just when you are just alone like this. Yeah. It's, it's overwhelming. Yeah. Um, it, and it's sad also. It's really, it's sad because I look at my family and God knows I love my family, but it's sad to just see them like, I mean, you know, I, I try not to judge it and say that they're stuck because in their own way I can see where, okay, I can see, you know, why they believe and feel like this, but I'm like, is this, do you not have any curiosity are you serious that you've never questioned that or mm-hmm. how can you just accept that and how I, and that's just like it, it's sad to me because mm-hmm. I'm looking at this and I'm looking at them and I see nothing no hope no nothing and they are just okay with just life being just like that for them and I don't I don't get it well but then it's not for me to get in everybody but I don't I don't understand it the, well here's the thing right um, everyone doesn't wake up at the same time. I know I don't wake up at, I know I wake up at damn near 10, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. You understand? Um, so again, everybody doesn't wake up at the same time. I know you probably wake up at like six or seven, right? I wake, we both wake up at different times. I, I don't know. I have my time to deal. I just have to always end up waking up at four o'clock. Four o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, oh my god, and I hate it when that happens because then I cannot go back to sleep. I'm like, oh, I can't. Then I'm just wired up for the next few hours, and then by ten o'clock, I'm crazy because I want to go back to sleep. Cause now I'm tired. Mm-hmm. I didn't get enough sleep, and the day is kicking in. And then, like you said, on those days, I don't get up until like eleven o'clock, mm-hmm. ten thirty, looking around like, uh, hey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, so. Yeah. So the reason why I just mentioned that or gave you that example is because it's known it's it's it takes too much energy to to have this towards other people because as you know everyone wakes up at different timing you have to allow others and this is something that I had to do for myself with my own personal friends like damn y'all still eating that damn you still think about that damn and it's like yo you know it takes too much energy for you to try to convey or try to give people the truth for those that are not you know looking to 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 learn the truth or not interested in 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 knowledge not interested in you know what is the real deal so in any event it's like you're speaking to people on deaf ears that right there is frustrating Uh, that right there that right there is frustrating one that right there takes up too much energy two that right there leaves you going (laughs) That right there leaves you going to bed mad. So that right there, yeah. that yeah. right there Very ha- confrontational. <laughs> is not conducive to your spiritual body. That right there. Okay. Yeah. You okay. understand? So I it's like, it. yeah, family members, they are. They're going to eat the, they're going to do whatever they want, but that's not your reality. That is their reality. Yes, you want to save them. When they're okay. ready to be saved, they will come to you. Same thing with me. I had to go through yeah. it. Right, because a lot of things that I do eventually, I look up and I see little things that they, they might pick up a little bit of it or take mm-hmm. it. And that's good enough for me, you know, yeah. when I tell them, like, a lot of things that you're eating and doing to your body, why? I mean, it's, it's, it's contradictory to just the natural flaw. I'm like, I don't understand. Like, why would you eat this and do this and do that? Mm-hmm. And then go to the doctor and tell them you're sick. Mm-hmm. You're just making yourself sick. Mm-hmm. So, you, you're right. Right. Mm-hmm. You get, I, I get that totally, 100. You're right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, mm-hmm. 
that. Yeah, that's and I'm glad, you know, I'm glad that this, this session between me and you is very passive, right? Is is your understanding, your grasping is not going over your head. Is very gentle with you, you know, so I'm glad that I was able to deliver these messages to you in this way where you Thank are you. downloading I'm about it. to tell you again today so I can schedule my next <laughs> Okay, not a problem, yeah, yeah. my love. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Now, let me ask you, this session is, has also been recorded. Um, So do you want this to be private or do would you give me permission to upload it publicly? No, 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 never, never. It never has to be private, never. Mm. Oh, because okay. hopefully if there is anything that, you know, was said, it could, if it helps anybody in, yeah. my, in the same situation or going through, if it helps them anyway, please, yeah. by all means, oh. let it be known. Thank you, my generous sister. You have been very generous to me and my audience, and I'm pretty sure that someone else will definitely learn from our session again that's the main reason why i post these videos up because you know lots of feedbacks oh my god thank you for this session thank you for this thank you for that you know so i want to thank you as well for being a part of my journey may the creator continue to bless you and find peace internally yes yes thank you okay. thank you so much please so i will be talking to you soon because i'm going to reschedule and do my next setup you know go through the you know the site and make so we can book my next appointment okay please please text me your email address um so when i upload this i can send okay. this off to you okay i sure will thank okay. you so much bye-bye bye-bye